Good morning. We are saddened today with the passing of a dear friend, Aquarium Cop. Here's Curly Bunny. Hello, Father Fish. All those who are offering prayers and support, I absolutely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. He loved you all, and I know he is watching us from heaven and is with his mom. Amen, Curly Bunny. Amen. And we are so saddened for you that you have lost your precious friend, your lover, the joy of your life. Oh, uh, monster fish here. Here's Curly Bunny. Oh, there she is. Hello. Dear. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. So, I, I'm so, so grateful for everybody reaching out to me and posting videos. It's so overwhelming, like the support that you guys have. And um, I'm glad you put the link up. Um, I'm actually in my car, like, um, in New York City, there is something, I don't know, it's called alternate side of the street parking. So you actually have to move your car for an hour so they can clean the street. So if I may have to just like, if the cops come, <laughs> I may have to just uh, move my car, but I think I should be good for a while. Um, I don't even know where to start. Um, I can tell you guys how it happens. Um, okay, so... We were, it was a Sunday, and we were um, just hanging out. I was walking to the kitchen. I think I froze. Okay. You're okay. Oh, okay, you're I'm good. good. You're good. Okay, and all of a sudden I heard a big thump. Um, and I turned around, he was on the floor, and... I, he used to always play around like that, uh, oh, you're killing me, you're killing me with your love, you know how he was, so, um, then I was like, stop playing, stop playing, and I was trying to, like, you know, pull him, like, stop, and then I was like, oh, uh, he is not playing, my EMT skills kicked in, I knew he was unresponsive, check for a pulse, I actually had to do TPR on him, I dialed 911, but I don't put them on speakerphone while I was doing CPR on him. Um, they came, the medics came, they put the defibrillator on him, they intubated him on the floor, were actively doing CPR, they gave him three, three shots. He started gurgling, but he was cyanotic. He became cyanotic, which is when you start to turn blue because you're hypoxic from your blood pressure, you no know, from no oxygen going to your brain basically. So I knew that was not good. Uh so with the three shocks, uh the protocol is to give a person three shocks. If not, you gotta load them and go, put him on a loan board and they took him to the hospital. So to make a long story short, then uh I wasn't allowed to go to the hospital that day. The next day I went with the daughters and uh the brother he was on a ventilator, he was on a dialysis machine, he was on an echo heart machine, which is basically a machine that opens your heart and pumps blood through your heart. Um, he did not look good. Uh, we were there holding his hands, kissing him, rubbing him. His blood pressure started to go up, and you know, like the machine beeps in the movies. So I knew he knew we were there. Uh, he sat in a room, he became D, uh, his brother made him DNR, which means do not resuscitate if you guys don't know already. Um, he didn't want to be on any kinds of machines, so we knew that's what he wanted. Uh, this is the weird part. It's like he was shining down on me. On, after we were there for a couple hours, after I left the hospital, I went to go check his mail at his house. In his mailbox, there was three... Two days ago, he said he was going to give me, send me a present. He used to send me presents in Amazon. And you're like, oh, go check the mailbox. <laughs> Excuse me. 
And um, I went to the mailbox. There was three choker necklaces with hearts. And I was like, oh, my God, you sent me presents from heaven, basically. So I then went and just drove to my mom's house because I could not be in the house. You know, of course not after that happened. And it was like an, as soon as I rolled on my mom's street, rolled up to my mom's street, his brother called and said he had passed. So I know in my heart that he wanted to see us and was waiting for us. And then he was at peace. Uh, the weird part was that the day before he was going to work, he used to work nights and, um, he was sleeping. He would have to wake up like 10, 20 PM to go to work at 11. He kept putting his alarm off and I was like, there, you gotta go to work. You know, you're going to be late. He, he woke up and he's like, I had the most amazing dream. It was me, you, my mother on the beach. And like, I remember that dream and it gave me chills, chills. So um, the one other thing that his brother told me, which makes me feel a lot better about the situation, it could have happened in the worst way. I used to pretty much be over his house every, uh, like live with him. But two days a week, I would get off work early. So I'd go stay at my mom's and sleep at work. The one day it happened just happened to be the day I was there. Now, if this had happened on a Monday, I would have been at work all day texting, calling him nothing. And then I would have had to go check on him, unlock the door and find him dead. So at least I was able there to do CPR on him and call for medical attention. So there was some like hope. So that really like helps my heart a lot. So, But um, I just want to say thank you guys. Um, um, Thank you, Mary, also for the Facebook link because I couldn't figure it out. I'm not really tech savvy. But uh, I I can't express my my compa like compassion that... The, the outpouring of support you guys and just was glad to get up here and just say thank you and i just figured you guys would want to hear their story too but thank you guys i love you all and you know he's happy that you guys are all coming out to help you know support me with love and stuff so amen thank you Curly Bunny. what is your name my name's Erica, <laughs> Erica, aka Buddy, White Buddy. That was so cute. I remember him telling me that story. Oh my god, that is so funny. That was a beautiful memory. <laughs> yeah. She, had, she, she did a little video on that last night. So you'd be able to find that because they're telling that story. Thank you. Okay. I, I deeply appreciate you all that you're coming up and sharing with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we loved him. And we, loved, we loved him because he loved us. He was a very, like, one of a kind, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, he really was. He? <laughs> Just a remarkable guy. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. The best part was, though, you know what? Like, he. I know he didn't feel any pain because what he had was a, an MI, it's called a myocardial infarction, which is basically a flash and then you don't feel anything. So it wasn't like he had chest pain or anything, you know, he didn't even know what was happening. And that also, you know, is a better way than a sense to pass. So that was an instant. My. Mm -hmm. That was kind of the way to do it. Uh, oh wait, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I, I think that my was the way she lived. Yeah. Mm hmm You lived in the moment. You definitely did. Yeah. Whew, it's just so much. So much. I'm sure. Well, you're doing heroic as well. Yeah, I'm actually um prepared like to go back to work. Uh, we were with the daughters yesterday cleaning out and it was very therapeutic because we were finding lots of mementos. I have his work boots. I have uh, his cop hat. I have uh, his TV, which we still always watch you on <laughs> and get on your channel. <laughs> so that, the, just having like his TV, it's weird, but it's like, that was, you know, we love being in the fish fam and stuff and oh, yeah. watching our videos. So. Well, having you here, it's, just, it's, a, it's a joy to have that, that link with somebody who was just, you know, always there with a laugh and a smile, a good word, or a tear. He, he cried as easily as he was. 
So yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's it's gonna be hard, <laughs> of course. But you bet. thank you, Eric. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Okay. All right. I'm going to go because I actually have to move my car. But I love you guys. Oh, my gosh. And I'll be in the streams, you know, as much as I can when I'm not working. Love and, you. Um, yeah, come up anytime. Okay. That's great. That would be great. It, I know he would love it, too. So. Yeah, <laughs> the carry on. Carry on. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye, Mary. Thank you. Thanks again for putting the link up, Father Fish. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Here, so we will Bye. simply we will simply end with our memories and our thoughts. <clears throat> Thanks especially to Erica for for bravely coming up and sharing her story with us and sharing the story of uh, Aquarium Cops passing. 